All right, class, today we're going to learn about something really cool, nuclear reactors. These are big machines that make lots of energy, and they do it in a special way. Inside the reactor, there are a tiny thing called atoms. The fuel they use is usually something called uranium. When we split the uranium atoms, it makes a lot of heat. You can split an atom? That sounds crazy. It does sound crazy, Jack, but it's real science. That heat from the atom splitting turns water into steam. A video you just saw I made using DubDub. DubDub is an AI tool that allows you to lip sync any image, and they have some really good quality voices to choose from. Now, to start creating, click on AI avatar. This will take you into the lip sync window. Here you can choose from photo avatar or a motion avatar, but for the moment, you can't create or upload your own motion avatar, so you have to use what is available here. And lastly, you have a gesture avatar. These avatars are great for presentations. The photo avatar gives very good lip sync. Here is an example. Hi, did you like this video? If you do, can you give it a little thumbs up? Thanks for watching. And you can actually upload an image with more than one face. So if I upload this image with eight different people, you will see the AI detect all their faces. And on the right here, you can see a small image of each face labeled character one to eight. If you click on one character, it will show you which one is selected in the image. I went ahead and gave each a script to say, and now we have to select the voice for each one. By clicking on the voice tab, this will open the voice menu. There, you can filter the voices to any language you want, or by age, gender, and quality. Under quality, the ultra voices are the best and sound very realistic. Let me apply all the voices, then we can continue. Okay, now that I've set all the voices, just click the Generate Avatar button. The generation takes about five to 10 minutes, depending on the length of your script, and it will cost only 2.6 tokens, so DubDub is really affordable. This is the result for the multi-face photo avatar. We all start somewhere. The first step is always the hardest. But if you never start, you'll never know. Small actions lead to big changes. Don't wait for the perfect moment. Make today the day you move forward. You're stronger than you think. Let's do this together. Okay, now let me show you how to use the photo avatar to create an animation. First, we need some images. And before we can create images, we need some prompts. Now, I prepared everything for you in a Notion document. If you want to copy this exact style, just copy the prompt from the Notion document and paste it into your favorite AI chatbot. I will use Gemini 2.5 Pro. If you want free access to Gemini, just go to Google AI Studio. I will leave a link in the video description. After you have copied the prompt from the Notion document and pasted it into Gemini, click Run, and now the AI will ask you to describe the teacher and the subject they are teaching also to describe the classroom and how many kids and their names. So I will go with, the teacher is a young Caucasian woman in her 20s. She has blonde hair and is wearing a professional outfit with a white lab coat. She teaches science and today's topic is types of energy. The classroom is a wooden but modern science lab. There are three kids in the class, Jack, Lisa, and Jennifer. Now Gemini will create everything for us, the prompts for the images and also give us the script to use. Now we can create the images. I will use Piclumen for this. If you don't know Piclumen, it's free and the image quality is really good. First, copy the teacher prompt and paste it into Piclumen. Then I will use the Piclumen Art V1 model. Click on Advanced Settings and turn on the Seed setting. Add any number you want. This will help keep our images consistent. Then generate the image. It came out looking good. Now I will generate the rest of the images quickly. Okay, here is the result. So this is the teacher and this is Jennifer and this is Lisa, and we have Jack. And this is the background for the teacher. The AI will try to make a background around the topic of the class, but this is optional. You can use the teacher image as is, but I will show you how to make it a bit better. Download all the images. Go to Canva and upload all your images, and then drag them one by one into their own page. Then remove the teacher background and add in the background we generated. Set it nicely to fill the whole page and send it to the back so the teacher is in the front. You can adjust her size or move her where you think best. Next, we will make the kids' backgrounds look more consistent. Look for one of the kids' backgrounds you like the most and duplicate that page. Then click on Edit and under the Select area, click on Click. Then select the child and his table and anything on the table. Then click on Magic Grab. Now the part you have selected should look like this. Now delete everything. This will now become our new background. Remove the backgrounds of all the kids one by one, then add this background we just created behind each one of them so it fits nicely. Now we're all set. They're looking great and it looks like the same classroom. Download your images to your computer and go back to DubDub. Then upload the teacher photo. Next, find a voice you like. Remember to use the ultra voices and then go back to Gemini and copy the teacher script and paste it into DubDub one by one until you have the whole teacher script here. 
This saves time instead of generating each script separately. We will generate one video with the teacher's whole script and then split them up again in CapCut. When you have the whole script, click Generate Avatar. Now do the same for the kids. Upload the first kid, and then by voice you can filter it to children to find children voices, or you can use young. And to make any voice sound more like a kid, just adjust the pitch of the voice a little higher. This will make adult voices sound like child voices. Then add the script of the first kid and generate. Do this for all the kids. Then when they're all done, click on the three dots and select Download Video. Download all of them and head over to CapCut. Drag over the teacher's video to the timeline and listen to the video. And when she asks a kid a question or answers, you use Control and B to cut the video there. Do this for the whole video. Then we will add in the kids' videos and do the same. Listen to them and cut them between different script sections. Now listen to the teacher video again and then drop in the children videos one by one into their correct spots. If you're not sure, you can always go back and read the script again to find the correct spot for each video. For transitions, you can use anything you want. I will just use the black fade transition and add it into all the transitions between the teacher and the children. Now, if you want to add cutscenes, this is optional, but will make your video more engaging. Just listen to the teacher, and when she is describing something, find a video you can add, like in the first video I showed you. Okay, now to improve the quality of this video, select all the video clips and right-click, then select Make Compound Clip. Then select the clip again, and under Basic, you will find Enhance Image. Click on that and wait for it to finish. Now the video is upscaled to HD, and now you can export your video. Select 4K and 60 frames per second for smoother transitions and video quality. Then click Export. All right, class, today we are going to explore something that is all around us, inside us, and makes everything happen. We're talking about energy. Ooh, is that why I have so much energy? Because I feel like I could run a marathon right now. That's exactly right. Jennifer, the energy you get from food helps you run and play. That's a type of energy called chemical energy. But there are many other kinds. But where does energy come from? Does it just appear? That's a fantastic question, Jack. Energy can't be created or destroyed. It just changes from one type to another. Think of it like a superhero changing costumes. For example, we have potential energy, which is stored energy just waiting to be used. So, it's like a secret power that's hiding? Precisely, Lisa. And when that secret power is released, it becomes kinetic energy, which is the energy of motion. Time for a quick quiz. Jack, if I hold this ball way up high before I drop it, what kind of energy does it have? Um, the waiting kind? Potential energy. You got it. Now, Jennifer, what happens when I let it go and it starts falling? It's moving, so it has kinetic energy. Perfect. And Lisa, if you rub your hands together really fast, what do you feel? They get warm. That's heat energy. Exactly. You see, you're all energy experts. You can make the video much longer if you want, but this is a great way to teach children online in a fun way. And parents will let their kids watch these types of channels more because it actually teaches them something. Okay, hope you learned something. Please, if you got value from this video, give it a like. And if you want to learn more about video creation and AI tools, subscribe to my channel. I upload new content regularly. Thanks for watching. I will see you in the next one. And the steam spins big fans call turbines. That's how we get electricity to power our homes and schools. So it's like using steam to make a giant windmill? Exactly, Lily. And the best part, it doesn't burn coal or gas. That means it's better for the planet. But is it safe? Good question, Bill. Scientists build strong walls and safety systems to keep everything under control. When used right, it's very safe and super powerful. Now, let me ask you three a question each. Bill, what gets split inside a nuclear reactor? Um, the uranium atoms. Correct. Jack, what does the heat turn water into? It turns it into steam. Nice job. Lily, what is the this steam spin to memo electricity? Turbines. Excellent. All three of you. That's how nuclear reactors help us make clean energy. Pretty awesome, right?